like trap music, but that's not me. They like pop music, but that's not me. I'm the baby face that will put you in your place. Set you up, take it safe, then vanish without a trace. They like Balenciaga, but that's not me. They like Dolce Gabbana, but that's not me. I'm the baby face that will put you in your place. Take your girl to your face. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Jermel Charlo. Now, Jermel Charlo um, and his team, they saw the video we made last week and they responded uh, to us. Uh, they, they hit us up and they provided us with more information. And one of the people who was critical of Jermel Charlo was Trill Dollar Bill. Um, and Trill Dollar Bill received this information and Trill let the people know what's up. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Mr. Westbrook. You know, that's uh, Jamel Charlo's manager. And shout out to Jamel Charlo and his team as well. Um, I was like, from the outside looking in, it looked like a little bit of clout chasing. I did, however, said I uh, salute him for doing something. I, myself, personally, would have did it differently. But it came to my attention that Mr. Charlo does a lot that he doesn't put up. You know, this is an event that he, he's been doing for a while. Um, he drives kids to weigh-ins. These are all uh, the fighters that he rocks with. Not only does he uh, promote, that's his facility that he helps them get ready, helps take their families out for dinners. He's also paid for funerals. He's also told me a, a whole lot that Jamel Charlo does for his community, which I wanted to salute him for that. I also went on to tell him that we do praise um, Charlo a lot on this channel, but we are not fanboys. Like if we see something differently, we're going to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? We're not here just to, you know, just cheer for him all the time. You know, if we see something that we consider off, we're going to speak on it. You know, um, we had a, a great, he was a respectful guy, Mr. Westbrook, very respectful guy. I got nothing but respect for you guys. Um, look. We give you props, you know what I'm saying, when you're doing good, right? But if we see something different and we give you, you know, our little critiques or whatever, how we feel, we're not hating, you know? Just because you do something that I might not like, that doesn't mean that I'm hating on you, you know what I'm saying? So I I, I appreciate you hitting me up and, uh, and hitting us up, the team up, and, and, and letting us know all these wonderful things that Jamel Charlo does for his community. I thought that that was really dope. And I thought it was dope that you reached out to us. So much respect to you and the team. Like I said before, we can admit when we're wrong. That's the difference between the boxing bros. You know what I'm saying? All we doing is giving you our unbiased opinion on the greatest sport that we love so much, which is boxing. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so like I was saying, from my opinion, from the things that how we rock, for the things that I have done in my community and the things that I've done for others, I would have did things differently. You know what I'm saying? But now that I understand, I have a better understanding what Jamel Charlo does for his community and the things that he does forever. I want to salute him and let him know there's no bad blood. I'm not mad at you, homie. I got nothing but love for you. Much respect to you and your team. All right, Ned the TBE. Yeah, I'll just say... I take back anything. Actually, I'm sorry, Ned. I don't mean to uh, cut you off. I just it's actually hit me. Um, some of the things that we did uh, receive and that we have um, are like pictures. Here's a picture of Jamel. Um, yeah, Jamel Charlo with the uh, kids. Um, and here's another picture of him with uh, even younger kids. Um, I love the children. It's all love, all love. And um, here's a video of him uh, celebrating. It's a small one. I can't make it bigger. Well, Hello, after one. You see it, bro. You can't see. I can't make it bigger. No, no, no. We no, can't it's not. It at you can't see the video at all. I can't share this screen and then share the other screen. Oh, can you see it? No, the other screen. You got it. Now, nah, first. Oh, I know what you're saying. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Now, nah, cool, man. You got to. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand. So hopefully that makes it better. Yeah, now it's better. Here it is right here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Shout out, shout outs to um to, to to Charlo's team for sending us those um wonderful pictures and that footage, that video. I really appreciate it. That was really dope. All right, TV. Nah, nah, that's dope, yo. You know, uh, if you felt like what we said, you know, I, I take back if take back anything I said that made y'all feel. If I said anything that offended <laughs> Charlo party, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you know. You do me love. <laughs> you do me love, you know? And you know what kind of apology is this? <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna be real. I walk, I look back, I didn't say nothing really offended. I was just like I I didn't agree with the antics, but you know, if you if you you let the kids you show, you know, man, show the kids love, you keep doing charity work, you know, bless your heart, man. You know, it's all it's matter what the heart is intent. From the heart. If it's from the heart, then it's real, yo. So that's all. Shout all right. out to them. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, nah, that's it. I just said shout out to them, you know. Okay, conspiracy. G. I mean, yo, salute to, to uh Jamel's team for, for sending us that info, but it wasn't gonna change my stance regardless. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even if he didn't know them kids personally, I still would have been like, yo, salute to you for doing something. You know, um, I'm gonna be honest, like. You know, I've done charity events. I know Caden has done it. I've seen him do it. He doesn't know them kids from a hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't mean you still don't have an impact. You know, um, mm -hmm. just him being there is enough for a lot of kids. You know, you don't have to know every kid's name and their personal info to, to still make an impact. So whether he's doing it from uh, a financial standpoint, uh, just being there as a mentor or, you know, however he wants to give back, Man, salute to that, man, because there's a lot of people out here that are coming from these hoods, and when they get become successful, they just move out and just, you know, they turn their back on their people. So, you know, he didn't have to explain nothing to me. You know, keep doing your thing. Uh, thank you, though, for, for, for providing that clarity, you know, because I, I kind of felt a little weird. I was like, damn, these dudes really ain't feeling what I'm saying, you know what I mean? But so it, it's just good to see that, you know, um, you know, he is doing more than what we're thinking, you know, and sometimes you don't want to make everything public, you know, like you just, he just showed enough. You know what I mean? I don't think what he showed, I don't think he was expecting, I guess the, the negative uh, uh, response from us. I think he was probably like, Oh, yo, what y'all talking about? Yo, like I'm doing a good thing here. You know what I mean? And certain people may take things uh, different ways. Like, you know, we had two um, hosts, co-hosts that were like, yeah, we we cool with it. Other tools like now nah, we not cool with it. You know what I mean? But again, that's just the real world. Not everyone's gonna see everything the same way. So yeah, man, just uh salute to Jamel and um his team and just keep doing what y'all doing, man. Like that's a positive thing. So nobody should take that away from y'all. Steps to what you were saying, but also on to that, why we had a disagreement. Well, why I had a disagreement with you is because exactly what you just said, even when you mentioned my brother, <clears throat> even the work that he has done helping others, you know what I'm saying? In the community and helping kids. You didn't see, you never seen him, him do that. You never seen him, you know, put this out. And that's where we was coming from. It was from an outsider's looking, look it in. You know what I'm saying? How it made it proceed. Not knowing, now seeing all the other pictures, the other pictures would have been better if we seen just the other pictures in the other video instead of the one that we seen first, then our whole outlook, my whole view and my whole outlook would have been totally different. No, nah, you know what? Let me let me backtrack. Because nah, I see I what backtrack, my brother. I was just explaining what you were saying. Nah, 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 I'm saying. to add this that I seen actually what you and Ned were saying about the cloud chasing. Like I, I could see that. I was saying, even if he was cloud chasing, it doesn't matter to me. That's what I was yeah, saying. I said the same thing. How I started my whole argument off that day. I started the whole thing off. At least he's doing something. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it did look a little bit of cloud chasing because when we do things for others, that's not how you know. We was rocking. I think there's a, a lesson to be learned here um, because my position was I was OK with it. Um, I think, you know, it takes a lot and it says something about a person that they even give back. Jamal Charlo's out there giving back. How many people could actually say that? I mean, we've seen some fighters disrespect amateur fighters at amateur fights as professionals. So uh, Jamel Chalo was definitely not doing that. He was definitely uh, being a resource. 
Um, <clears throat> the thing I would caution Jamel Charlo about is when you're a resource and you're providing to people, the way you make them feel about taking the resource is very important. Um, so like when I help people and I know that I'm providing them a resource, I don't want them to feel like I feel like I'm better than them. I don't want them to feel like um, I look down on them for taking a resource. I don't want them to feel anything but joy and I want them to feel welcome to take the resource. And I'm not saying that that's what Jamel, um, Charles, that was Jamel Charles' intent. Because I think Jamel Charles is just thinking everyone's like him. He's flashy. He talks, he talks a lot. So like he's putting the camera on people and he's like, what you got to say? What you got to say? And they're focused and they, and they don't really want to say anything. So then that gives the impression that like he's doing it for clout, but he's really just excited. He's like, yo, my guys are about to go. But that doesn't come off well in the video, I think. Um, and so no one sees that you got these pictures with everyone from the event that you actually did take the time to meet them, that you actually did take the time to, uh, you know, take pictures with them. And then you got the video of you celebrating what no one sees that, but that's actually what would have been more powerful than what we saw. Um, so I think that's one of the things, um, to, to take away at the end of the day is that, um, uh, you are the resource. So how are you making uh, people feel. Uh, the other thing I would say is for me, I understand when you, you and you have to understand when you do it out of the kindness of your heart, people are always going to question your motives. Why are you doing this? Um, you can be doing it out of the kindness of your heart. Uh, we can, and you know, we may, we, we've talked about it, uh, build the gym, you know, this, it's a nonprofit. We just want kids to come to the gym and work out. And someone, someone may, oh, they just trying to raise professionals. Or, you know, people can always spin anything in a negative light. But the thing to be mindful of is the perception, what you're putting out, what you're putting out, what you're putting out. Um, and one thing that was pretty cool was we were given insight as to so many things that uh, Jamel Charlo has done that we didn't know about before that we won't mention because it's not done uh, some of the things were mentioned, but there's a lot more that weren't mentioned, but just because that's who he is and it's out of the kindness of his heart. I Man, that's a great thing. Um, we do know Jamel, Jamal Charlo. We do know uh, Jamel Charlo better as a result of this. Um, have seeing this whole situation, this proper perspective does change the way that uh, my co-hosts see it. But from my position, I was always okay with it because at least he's doing something. At least he's giving back. At least he's investing his time. And I brought up the example. Uh, when I saw Lawyer Malloy, um, Tony Simmons, and Damian Woody in person just come to my practice, that changed my life. Just one time, they don't even, I'm sure they don't remember me, but I'll never forget them. They were there. They were. They showed up. You know, like Antoine Walker, those things are big. And the champion showed up to watch them fight. And sometimes as a kid, you're too crazy to even realize it. And then, like, you get older, you're like, yo, exactly. yo, the champ was at my fight. You know, so I get what uh, Jamel's doing. Um, I do think, you know, in, in hindsight, what he did was a great thing. What he's doing is a great thing. So, you know, we wanted to, to shout him out because, you know, what we did make the video. Um, and now knowing what we know it should be viewed as nothing but positive and, and there should be nothing but um, he should, he deserves nothing but credit and respect for what he's done. So I'm going to come to you with a, with a question trail, okay. which is, which is just basically you said you would have done things differently. Um, what would you have done differently at that event? Um, first of all, I would have basically showed that I was here to support, like, hey, I'm here to support these kids. Um, these are young fighters explain what I was doing and explain and tell and introduce everybody to these fighters. You know what I'm saying? In a certain way beforehand. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the young fighters and stuff like that. It just, it just, it seemed like, like you said before, it seemed like it was uh it was just the video just came off wrong. I would have loved to seen. The, the stuff that they sent us later, the stuff like that. That's the stuff that I would have did. 
Show me uh, celebrating with the kids. You know what I'm saying? The pictures of me with all with all the kids, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Not um, so much of a. I just would have moved differently. That's how I would have did. I just would have moved differently. Like I would have loved the the footage that we got. Say if that if that's how I would have moved. The stuff that we got later. That's how I would have moved. I would have did it like that. In the first no, honestly, and one of the things I probably would have done differently, just for our Jamelas, I wouldn't have been asking the kids their names on the camera. Mm-hmm. Off camera, I would have got their names, and then I would have introduced them myself. Like, this yeah. is my little man, blah, blah, blah. Come here, this is my little man, blah, blah, blah. Introduce them. That, that presentation would have looked a little different. And this isn't criticism, because in the end, what you were doing, no one could ever criticize it. Yeah. But it's this perception and the way it's perceived. And as you saw, like, just that, that video, people taking a run with it. And I'm going to be honest, uh, if uh, Jamal, if uh, Jamel Charles sees this, he, he has the type of personality where a lot of people are going to scrutinize him um, and the things he does because he does react um, off of emotion. And even when he's right, the fine line between passion and aggression, I talk about this with my brother all the time. He's very passionate. So when he goes to buy some pants and the dude is like, you know, not treating him with the respect he thinks he deserves, he gets real passionate. He gets real loud. But then it gets to a point where you go from being right to people look at it as you're bullying that guy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. And you're right the whole time. If you would have stayed within a certain level, if you would have maintained a certain level of calmness and explained yourself because you were in the right from the beginning, People will rock with you. But once you hit that certain level and you got that passion, you go from being a sympathetic character to being seen as the aggressor. So like I always say, and, like, and my brother, he knows, we talk, there's, a thin, there's a fine line. There's a thin line between passion and aggression, and you never want to cross that line. And Jermel Charles is a guy who's perceived as an aggressive guy, but I know it's because he's so passionate, he wears it on his sleeve and he just goes and then everyone sees it as aggression. So you're already under the microscope because of that. So whether fairly or um unfairly. Um, and like and like I was saying, people they don't they people pay don't pay attention to words, my brother. Like when I said it comes off, I didn't say he was. I said I applauded the brother for doing something, but it comes off as a little bit of clout chasing. That's what I said. It comes off the perception of how, like everything you just said, my brother. That's why I was saying. But shout outs to um, Mr. Westbrook and uh, shout outs to Jamel Charlo's team because it was an eye open. I felt like they let us in, you know, and let us in, and more than they let any other people in. They let us in and let us see something different and sending us pictures that they didn't even post up, sending videos that they ain't even show. So I thought that was dope. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. <clears throat> We always say, I'm going to come to uh, Ned with this one because Ned's sitting there looking like he's letting, letting that out talk. And I'm, I'm going to come to you with a two trill. But we always say, like, if you do good things and you do good deeds, you shouldn't brag about it. You shouldn't, like, boast about it. You don't need to scream it from the top of your lungs. And this is a scenario where um, Jamel Chalo did have more. Um, he has more pictures. He has more things. But he wasn't putting it up. And maybe in his mind, he feels like I'm doing this out of love. I don't need to show this. I don't need to. I don't need to put all these pictures up. Um, and so he didn't. But then when he felt like he was being attacked, uh, that's when he put it up. So, in your mind, what's the fine line between showing um, because you care and then showing to exploit the fact that you know you give back and trying to look a certain way? You just gave him the blueprint already, bro. When you was telling him already how to do things, how do you know how you, you like if, like I said before, if he would have showed, sent those, other, if he would have posted those other pictures and the other video with him cheering with, that is way better than the video that he put out first or the video that we see. You know what I'm saying? Those, like just, uh, uh, just choose better or what you, you decide to put out there. You know what I'm saying? You would have got tons and tons of more love if you just would have put those other videos out there. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just choose better what you decide to put out there. You know, usually you got a team. Your team is is, is speaking up for you now. I, hope, I wish your team was there to help you. That's where uh, your team's there to, to help you, uh, uh, you know, decipher what's good and what's not good. You know what I'm saying? What's good promo and what's not good promo. 
You know what I'm saying? Because nobody is dogging you for uh, coming out here and showing these kids love. Started the whole thing up with at least you was doing something, right? But all we said was it came off a little bit of clout chasing just because how it perceived how you was doing it. Because that's what people do when they're trying to get a pat on the back. You know what I'm saying? They go live and say, look what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I was saying. They yeah, it's just the perception of everything. Uh, I'm still, do you, bro? Like, if you want to put put kids on, you still, like, give them an outlet to be seen, that e even though, you know, I, I just, those aren't my tactics. But if that's what you do, do you, bro? Like, at the end of the day, you, it's coming from your heart. You, you ain't do this for any other, like, gratification or any other, like, you know, no, 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 no validation from anybody else. You did this. Cause you want you care about you care about these kids and you want you care about the youth you care about them you want to see them do better so that's that's what's up props to you so. all right G final words for uh, Jamel Charlo um hey man just keep doing your thing you know um I I do agree with my 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 co-host you know what I mean like you could do it better in a you know but man to me I don't really care about being politically correct when you're doing the right thing. You know what I mean, if your intentions are pure, just keep doing your thing because they're going to hate on you regardless, you know. So at least the kids know you took out your time, your money, you know what I mean, to help them out. So to me, that's a good example. And, you know, I try to do the very same thing, man. So don't let none of us take you down. Just keep doing your thing. You know what I mean? Like, and the kids know it's real. Hmm? The kids know it's real. Exactly. The kids talk about it. Jamel, Jamel Charles, a lot of children. You know what I mean? So that's all that matters. I um, I have a final word. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna give it to you, Trill. Last, Ned, you got any final words? Nah, just keep doing your thing, bro. Jamel Charlo, I think, is arguably he's he's to me he's on a pound for pound list. Jamel Charlo's on my pound for pound list. I think what he's done in the sport, being unified, I think he has to be on the pound for pound list. Um. I think talent wise, no one can deny him and he's won his fights uh, in impressive fashion, especially uh, the most recent fight against Jay Song Rosario. I just feel like um, sometimes when he's out in public, um, Jamel Charlo has to understand he's judged by a different standard than the average person. He's judged by a different standard. He's a champion um, and even when he's out and he's doing certain things, people are looking at him more so than anyone else. Um, I tell that to a lot of young men um, that I know who who hang out in certain areas and hang out with a crowd full of people and they want to do what other people are doing, but there's more eyes on them. There's more scrutiny on them because of what they do. It may be the town that they're in. It may be they play sports. It may be that they're in entertainment um, and people know them. So, when something happens, no one's going to everyone else. They're going to you. You have to look at perception sometimes uh, when you put something up because um, or how it's going to be perceived. Not from your lens, not from what you're actually doing, but what people are going to say about what you're doing. In this case, no one can really come at you for what you were doing because you were helping the kids. So what I'm speaking about is more so not about you helping the kids, but about when you go shopping in a store and they don't got your pants or someone's not treating you with the respect you deserve, you deserve respect 100. You don't even need to argue with someone like that. Someone like that's being that way, say, um, excuse me, can you bring your manager over here? Can you bring the supervisor over here? Instantly say, look, I'm Jamel Charlo. I come here all the time. I purchase all these items. You can, you can look this up. I came here. Uh, this, the, the person here, to assist me was being rude. It almost was like I was inconveniencing them, but I came in the store to spend money and this person was put or assigned to me so that I can do those things. This is a huge uh, hindrance to me and to you because it's preventing me from getting the items I want and it's preventing me and it's preventing the store from making money. Why are we doing this? Something's wrong with that person. May I please have someone else assigned to me? Thank you. Boom, you got it. They going to do that. You don't need to Go to that level. So that's all I'm saying. I'm mean, because I like I like Jamel and I hope that he gets it because I think he has the potential to be a really big star. But moments like that, 
more so than the kids is what hold me back. So now that I know that I got his ear, I just want to throw that out there. But <laughs> go ahead, uh, sure. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Please check us out on Instagram and Twitter and check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. You know what type of, we on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 